little bit rocky along this pathway here. So, good morning guys. I am at a place that I, this is a first time for me. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take me to do this hiking trail. And I actually don't even know how to pronounce it either. It's either Narnia Creek Falls or is it Nyanya Creek Falls? I have no idea. So this trail is up in the Darling Ranges. It's not like a designated trail, but by the sounds of it, there is a beautiful creek to follow. So the Darling Ranges is what us in Perth here we call the hills. And so I'm up in the hills. It actually has a really nice view from where I am already. And let's go see what I can find. I did see a sign saying I might see echidnas. So I'm going to get very excited if I see one. <laughs> and based on the cloud car, hopefully it doesn't rain. Okay, first thoughts of the first section. Very rocky and very slippery. There has been quite a bit of rain lately. And that first section is just like a big downhill. I seem to have kind of leveled out now. It's slowly heading down still. So I did have a look on all trails because it kind of gives you an idea of ever ev ev what's it called? Elevation of these trails and from my understanding it's pretty much like 100 meters of elevation going down and then 100 meters going up so it's not too bad i don't even think i've been on this trail for 100 meters yet and i've just spotted my first orchid it's so tiny oh. kind of hard to get that one on camera because it's hiding between all the little blades of grass but my first orchid of the day. I hope I don't have to walk up that hill. <laughs> oh well. So I'm heading that way. So I've just come from there, kind of just came out where that tree is and I'm like do I go that way or a bit further up? I'll have a look for them. There's no signs because it's not like a designated trail but I'll work it out. Okay so I was having a little read of the map and I think what's happened is I might have taken a misturn somewhere and I was actually off the trail just a slight bit so I think I'm saying head up this road and then you should be able to hop back onto the hiking trail. There are little pathways in here but Google Maps is saying to go up a little bit further so let's go have a look. Okay I found where the rest of the trail goes. I still have no idea how it came off that one, but it was only a short walk up the road. But you can hear the water. So we're heading that way. <laughs> only a little lost. It's funny, I don't usually um, lose track of the trails, but I suppose I did see a few footprints where I was walking before, so at least I know I'm not the only one that did that. It's definitely muddy.
this little area, it's definitely a rapid. I reckon that water would be incredibly cold. Now the trail itself, I actually need to kind of scoop around these rocks here. So it looks a bit slippery. Fingers crossed I don't do that one without slipping in the water. And I'm curious to see how much more rapids I can see up the other end. So it was at this point here where I was actually trying to work out where the trail had gone. And it was here when I go back through and look at the footage, I realized I really should have just gone up the hill here. I think the reason I had missed that one is because the water was rushing far too quickly. But I'm also glad that I took the other turn because it made for a good laugh. myself coming up here because it's actually really steep and slippery so I needed all hands I pretty much crawled up <laughs> I just got one more little boulder there and this is where I'm kind of like fingers crossed I'm on the right side of the river I just made up to the top of the creek and I've got this beautiful view and then I've even got something that's greeted me just here I'm not sure if you can see through the bush here, I'm going to give it a go. Oh, a blown plugger. That's not a good sign.
it looks like that is the best spot for me to cross. But I'm gonna have to put my camera away because I'm gonna need two hands just in case I fall in the water. All right. <laughs> so this is my plan. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna try and jump to that rock. And those weeds, they're gonna be so sloshy and wet. I'm gonna get my feet wet, but at least I'm gonna get onto the trail. So. Climatic, but I'm glad I didn't jump because that was liberating. Okay, time to put them back on. Where are my socks? Okay, <laughs> shoes are on. Okay, so it seems like I'm back on the trail now and I'm following the creek. It's very, very pretty.
sure what that is. Obviously, a sign for something. So, I'm assuming this area here actually backs out onto someone's property. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guess anyway. It's like a little puff of magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe how many there are here. be so careful and for those that are wondering i'm just following this little trail my cycling left by kangaroos don't worry i'm not trampling flowers i'm very careful of that one they are so pretty and for those that don't know so these come from sundews and sundews it's a specific type of plant that grows here in western australia and it's carnivorous which is pretty cool I almost missed it, but I just saw another purple orchid. So I must admit, like I said, I've never been on this trail before and I knew there wasn't going to be any trail markers because it's not an actual Trails WA trail, but luckily all trails is a thing because I did take a wrong turn at one point. but. It seems like I'm heading back to the main section now. I have no idea why I'm out of breath. <laughs> glad that I came off the trail to have a look at this viewpoint because there are orchids everywhere. Definitely seems a little bit wet and soggy around here. So this part of the trail, if you can call it a trail, it's either a service track or a fire break. I'm not 100% sure. Considering there are power lines and whatnot back there, I'm probably saying it is a service track. Like I mentioned, it's not as designated trail, but a lot of people tend to use fire breaks and service tracks as little hiking trails. And it's a steep one. There's my car. I actually thought I had a long way to go. <laughs> okay, so excuse my messy hair. I've just got back to the car and I've just driven down the hill a little bit to where you drive in. You can see there's an entrance. There's like a driveway and it heads to someone's house. Don't go in that one. Head into the little road that is next to it, um, which is the one like right there right there my thoughts on this trail so it was absolutely beautiful stunning 
yes I did get a little bit lost but it wasn't too bad because you can't really go too far um, I had phone reception the whole time and then I just use all trails I couldn't find the trail itself on trails WA and that's why I don't think it is a proper designated WA trail but plenty of people have done this one which is why it does pop up on the all trails and you're able to just follow the map on there I find it really easy myself if I put maps on satellite imagery mode um, so yeah so that was Narnia, Narnia. let's say Narnia <laughs> Creek Walk I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon bye just spotted something really lucky down the road imagine having this in your front yard <laughs> so lucky That's a really flash looking house.